Hello. Hi. We are we are packing for a trip that is about a week and a half long. So you want to see the stuff I'm bringing? Come on. Ooh la la. What do we have here? Oh, ignore the sheets in the background. I have laid everything out in a way where it's easy for me and I guess for you to see what the general color scheme is, like what the general vibe is. So I've definitely made sure there's a unity to everything, obviously, because I want options and I want to be able to mix and match everything and I don't want to get to a point where I feel like I have nothing interesting or fun to wear. And let's count how many things I've got here. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got around 15, 16 items and realistically I probably will add um, pajamas and something to leisure in, probably these. But aside from that, we've got about 15 items. So let's get into it. Let's start with the pants because I feel like they're the baseline for everything. We've got a beige pair of pants and we've got a charcoal pair of pants. Now these are the exact same pants that you've seen me wear in black and the lighter natural color. So Uniqlo have actually restocked them. Oh, I've forgotten what they're called. Yeah, so they are the smart ankle pants and I do get them in an extra small. Um, I'm normally an extra small in most pants, so I guess they run true to size. They've got a stretch in them anyway. I'm not here to sell you Uniqlo pants. I'm here to sell you a Vivaya sweater. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, let's go back over here. That's charcoal fitness stuff. We'll definitely be hiking. So you can kind of see already why I got the charcoal pants because if you are traveling, it is really handy to just keep as few colors as possible with you. That way you have a nice little easy to deal with capsule. Versatility really is key. Let's look over here for a moment. These are my hiking boots, my Blundstones. Those are my, uh, well, just hanging out shoes. Don't look inside my handbag. It's a little basket that goes with both pairs of shoes. Makes my life easy, basically. <laughs> so we've got black down the bottom, mid-tones in the middle. So let's have some black for the top as well. Uh, this is just a Oh god, you can really see that cat fur, can't you? That's better. <laughs> I did defur, but you know, once you put it down on a surface that is covered in fur, really makes no difference. So yet again, a trigger warning to those of you who hate cat fur. This is a v-neck merino top, just really handy for travel. And this is a beautiful cashmere vivaya turtleneck, which I've featured in a previous video. I don't know if the discount code still works, or if it does, I think it's less. Uh, it used to be 15%, so I think there is still a discount, but I don't know how much for. Check it out if you're interested. The sweater is really beautiful and soft and lovely. At a glance you'll probably notice there's nothing particularly fancy here today. Particularly dressy I mean. Well, you might be wondering well is it not your birthday when you go down south and I would say to you yes it is and I have a couple of little birthday events. One in Margaret River, one in Denmark but I just cannot be bothered dressing up. I think I'm just going to be in full country mode. This is more of a hiking and meditation and emotional holiday break than um, a dressing up break. So yeah, I'm just going to keep it really casual. In saying that, if I were to be inclined to dress up, I would definitely be bringing one of my two Osma bias cut skirts. These are made of Cupro. They're way thicker than silk, um, but they still have the same effect as a silk bias cut skirt. They're just stunning, but I think because of the casual nature of this trip, I'm definitely gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna stick with pants. But if you are interested in seeing me style the skirts, I might end up putting it in a video that I'm working on for my other channel, How to Style Basics, where I will be styling uh, 10 items in my wardrobe. Uh, I think in a gray theme. I know some of you guys wanted me to make that video. So if you haven't already subscribed to my other channel, a channel about personal style, then be sure to do that. These are my travel 
pants they're just made of a viscose as you can see i'm packing a lot of warm stuff well at the time of filming this video it is late march it's already way cooler here in Fremantle. down in denmark especially it's just always way cooler so i'm pretty much packing for cool weather but these pants are the one light viscose option in case it is warm and they're also my driving pants they're just super comfortable and loose oh and um it's definitely going to rain while i'm down there but i forgot to tell you guys last time i do actually have um a gray hiking raincoat that just lives in my car it's just always in my car so that i can pull it out in an emergency situation i will just wear that if it rains so i guess some of this coloring is considerate of that gray it's a light gray raincoat here we have my one pop of color i am very excited to wear this again this winter it is a merino wool garni sweater and i think it'll work really nicely with both pairs of pants especially the pants and the fleece jacket as well i think look in between those it'll look really cool and i've also got here my osma alpaca sweater which i've had for i think a couple of years now this piece i don't think they do this piece anymore however whatever knitwear they have you can use my discount code on it maybe this piece is for sale in a different color i don't know either way i think they still have some different alpaca knitwear on the website so be sure to give it a go check it out I've got here a few cotton tops, just a cotton cami which is cropped for that one potential day where it's warm. It goes with the pants and also it goes underneath the cropped sweater. And then we've got just a cropped long sleeve top uh, which I can potentially use for hiking but I'll definitely be wearing it during the drive as well. And then I've just got a longer, a longer white cotton top which will protect my yeah, waist a little bit more adequately so that is also potentially for hiking as i said i'm definitely planning to hike down there so long sleeve cotton tops are really awesome for hiking because they protect me from the sun but they're still nice and lightweight and obviously you can layer on top of them if it is cold and windy and rainy as it happens to often be down in the hiking areas in the great southern uh yeah it's definitely a good idea to bring a jacket so this is my wall of fleece stand studio jacket which i got last year which i still love i had it dry cleaned and now it smells like a sheep but this is not shearling just in case you are wondering it's just the wool fleece and it's kind of woven into a synthetic base this is so ridiculously warm though because look how thick that fleece is i mean that is you know a centimeter of wool right there so if you get the opportunity to get something like this i would recommend it stan studio might restock something similar this year who knows uh you need a hat in western australia and uh i guess that's everything i'm bringing i'm not actually going to show you oh apologies how could I? I'm not actually going to show you me packing all this stuff up and all the other little things that I'm bringing because I did that in my previous packing video and it's not the most scintillating, you know, 15 seconds of footage you'll watch. Um, so if you do want to see my packing technique, definitely check out my last packing video. Instead, I would rather show you me wearing some of these outfits in the Great Southern. So let's go, daddy -o. Yeah, that, that was not my best pack. This is the shampoo I brought with me. 
I also forgot to bring my speaker, my hiking backpack, and, uh, and my raincoat. Regardless, I thought it would be fun to show you some of the things that I packed in action. Today, I'm having a fairly relaxed day. I'm just going to drive towards Walpole, which is another town sort of 40 minutes west of here. And uh, I might get a nice lunch at, there's a cute little cafe over there. So for this little adventure today, I'm wearing one of my long sleeve tops tucked into my beige pants with my Blundstone boots and a cream sweater for an extra layer. It's not actually too cold, but it's definitely wet, which sometimes makes you think it's cold. Now, if you want to know more about this adventure, then you definitely want to head over to my Patreon community. Every time I go on a road trip, I make a little video about that adventure and post it there. So this is the kind of outfit I would wear during the day, but I am modeling it here for you during sunset because, well, aesthetics. It is but a simple knit with some trousers and my slides. And this is the kind of thing I would wear if I'm just hanging around town and relaxing, generally speaking. Obviously not a hiking outfit. Before I head off, I do want to run something past you. I am currently chatting with a travel tour company that unites creators with their audience on exciting travel tours. And I would love to be able to go on a trip with you guys somewhere amazing. I'm really, really enjoying the idea of a hiking trip in Japan. If you are someone who would seriously consider joining me on such a trip, can I please ask you to fill in the survey that is linked in the description box. It will ask you a bunch of questions about how and if you would like to do this. I ask that if you are even remotely interested that you please fill this survey out because negotiations will stop unless I get a certain number of these surveys filled in. I would like to go to Japan. Please tick Japan if you're interested or if not there are other suggested locations for such an adventure. Please fill that survey out ASAP and um, if enough of you fill it in maybe we can make it happen and if enough of you don't fill it in I guess you'll never hear about this again. The final outfit for this video is for a housewarming party. I am wearing my white cropped top, beige pants, blunt stones and my big fleece jacket. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to fill in that survey. This trip will not be able to happen unless you do. Mwah.